everybody, this is Praxis. I've been working on this giant pile of kind of felled trees and branches and things trying to get out uh, firewood for this upcoming heating season in the winter. Uh, one common uh, feature of whenever I work on the wood pile is that I tend to choose to do it on like the hot, hottest, muggiest day of the year. But another feature is that I almost always get some kind of minor injuries while I'm doing it. And that's what this is right here on my leg. I was pulling out one of uh, these uh, you know, long uh, pine boughs and as it was coming up out of the, uh, the dirt and the pine needles down below, they were, like, I'm kind of like working up on the top, as it emerged it had a little branch off to the side and while I pulled it this way the branch just scraped across my leg. No big thing, it didn't really break my skin or anything like that, it's a very very minor injury, but I immediately went in, got it all washed up with soap and water, and then put some Neosporin on it. Now you might say, uh, you know, practice just man up, you know, <laughs> you know don't, don't worry about these kind of minor little things, but I would push back, especially in a situation where there was some sort of uh, emergency event, collapse event, maybe hospitals aren't functioning to their full capacity. Minor injuries can turn into major problems if you don't deal with them right away. And it's a huge, I, th I think, problem in a lot of, kind of I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if, whether I should say Western or at least certainly American culture where guys don't want to kind of deal with things like this when they're small. Because if you deal with them when they're small, done. Soap, water, clean it, Neosporin on there, that's going to heal up great. If I didn't do any of that kind of stuff, it would probably heal up fine. Maybe it would take a little bit longer, but it would probably heal up fine. Maybe it would get a little bit inflamed and be a little bit uncomfortable. But I mean, honestly, I can man up and deal with that. That's not a big deal. But there are all sorts of issues that can happen if you don't clean out wounds you know, immediately when they happen. The person that did the uh, concrete foundation for my uh, my house, he was out of commission for months because he had gotten some kind of a minor injury, a little scrape or something like that, and there was some kind of flesh-eating bacteria that got into his leg, and he ended up having to have a huge section of his leg removed, and he was in hospital, and it was this huge deal, and it started as something like this. So. During normal times, it's great to treat your wounds when you have, uh, you know, as soon as they come up to avoid that kind of thing. It's also, it's just more comfortable. I mean, why put yourself through even minor discomfort, even if it's just itchy? Why would you want to have like an itchy leg, you know, because it's like mildly infected? Like, why even deal with that if it's so easy to take care of it? But the real big reason is it could turn into a bigger problem, and especially in a collapse event, an emergency event, like again, where hospitals aren't working at their full capacity, would you want to get a minor thing like this and be kicking yourself, if you even still have a leg to do it with, because you didn't treat it and then you got some kind of like a weird infection and you just couldn't deal with it later on. So think about that right now. I know if uh, you're new into prepping, there's all sorts of things you're probably getting into, like getting your pantry ready, getting food preps ready. You might have some medical things, but a lot of times when people think of medical preps, they're thinking of like tourniquets and snake bite kits and all these other sorts of like medical devices that most of us buy and don't even have the foggiest notion as to how to actually use if you ever needed to. But a lot of the most important stuff is the really simple basic stuff having like some painkillers, having some aspirin, like kind of something to uh, prevent blood clots, having uh, antiseptics and ointments that can kill an infection before it even starts. And many medications have been shown to be effective well past the printed expiration date, but that doesn't mean all of them. Aspirin, for example, can become toxic if not stored properly and if it's, it gets too old. But other medications like acetaminophen and ibuprofen have been shown in studies to be effective five, 10 years, even 30 years in the case of acetaminophen uh, past the printed expiration date. So it really Really depends on what medication you're looking for. So if you're thinking about stocking, uh, stocking up on medications for your pantry, uh, try to look for ones that have a reputation for being able to be used long past your expiration date so you don't have to worry quite so much about rotating through your pantry stock. A uh, rule of thumb when you're looking at different medications it, is that things that tend to be in suspension, liquid uh, type medications, they don't tend to last as long as the harder you know, pill forms and powders. In terms of wound treatment, for me personally, I like hydrogen peroxide, I like Neosporin, and honestly, soap and water are really important. So if you are setting up your new kind of medical prep area, don't skimp on those kind of really cheap, really easy to get stuff that can make a huge impact later on like soap, water, and neosporin. That's it, good luck, keep prepping, and don't forget about the simple stuff. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. 
If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.